So, one riff with 20 techniques. There are actually 24 techniques on this riff, but 20 was a better number, as it was a round number. So, um, before we start, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified when I release a video. The gear I'm using is a PRS S2 single cut with bare knuckle uh, pickups. I'm using a Victory Countess V30 amp, and I'm just using this little pick boy pick which you can probably see there, um, which I recently found. They're quite sharp and they're good for metal. Anyway, so technique number one is tapping. So I'm tapping the 13th fret of the A down to the seventh on the A. Okay, technique number two is what I call a hammer from nowhere. So I'm gonna use my first finger here and I'm just gonna hit down on the sixth fret of the bottom E string. Then I'm gonna hammer down on the ninth, tap the 13 of the bottom string, back off to the ninth, pull that off to the sixth, and then open bottom string. So that whole bit. Okay, then I've got the next technique, which is a double stop, and it's a discordant double stop. So discords is another technique. So that's techniques three and four. And what I'm doing there, I'm playing nine of the G and eight of the B, uh, sorry, six of the B. And I'm just moving that back one fret. In between, I'm muting the bottom string four times. Okay, so that's technique number three and four. Then we're on to technique number five, which is sweeps. Okay, and I'm just sweeping that upwards with my pick. So we're playing six of the D, then I'm gonna play nine of the B, eight of the G, seven of the D, then nine of the G, eight of the D, seven of the A, and six of the bottom string, so. Okay, so that is technique number Five. Technique number six is inverted power chords, and then I'm going to come up to. So I'm playing eight of the bottom string, eight of the A, ten of the D, and move that back one fret to seven, seven, and nine. Next technique is muting and galloping. Okay, so. Then I'm gonna play another inverted chord section. So I'm gonna go from seven down to five. Another gallop. Then I'm gonna play another technique which is regular power chords. And that's technique number eight, because gallop was seven. So technique number nine is string skipping. So we've got this bit. So I'm playing seven on the A up to nine of the G and then back down to seven of the A. Then I'm playing eight of the D, uh, bottom string to 10 of the D back to the bottom string for eight. And then 10 of the bottom string down to seven of the bottom string. Then we have hammering and pulling off. So then I'm just playing seven, eight, seven, bottom string muted, five, seven, five, seven, eight, seven, and then eight, ten, eight. So that's technique 10. Next exercise, so including muting as technique number 11. So we're gonna play a chromatic rundown. So I'm just playing there 10, 9, 8, 7, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, 7, 6, 5. Open bottom string, power chord. Then I'm doing the same thing, but I'm starting on the seventh fret of the A, 7, 6, 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2. No, sorry. Oh yeah, and then 4, 3, 2, 1. 
and then first fret power chord. So. Okay, so that is technique number 12. Technique number 13 is dead stops. So we've got a silence. So. Then technique number 15. Oh no, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Technique 13 is dead stops. Then 14 is that little string rake that I put in before I come back in. Okay, and what we do there, I'm just holding all the strings so that they don't ring out. And I'm bringing that just before I hit that open note. Then technique number 15 is Diabolos in Musica, which is the devil in music, and it's basically a diminished fifth. And that's just a, instead of playing a regular power chord, it's just the difference between the two strings of one fret. So that whole little section. Okay. Next section is the 16th um, example or 16th technique, and that's power chord sliding. So I'm just hitting that first chord here and I'm playing seven, eight, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven. But I'm only hitting the first note. And I'm using the strength in this hand to play that, the rest of that shape. Then I'm gonna mute and the next technique is technique 17, which is full chords. And I'm just playing an E minor chord there. So. Same little um, slidey bit again. And then I'm playing a pinch harmonic, but that was a terrible example. Okay, so then we'll play power chord here on the eighth fret of the bottom string and then a seventh fret pinch harmonic on the bottom string. Okay, so the pinch harmonic there was technique number 18. Then I've got, which is um, octaves, technique number nine, and I'm playing nine of the bottom string and, uh, no, I'm not, I'm playing seven of the bottom string, nine of the D down to five, Three, five, three, two. Technique number 20 is a diminished run. So what I'm playing there is on the A string, two to five. On the D, three to six. On the G, four to seven. On the B string, it's technically not diminished because I haven't gone up a full um, interval, but I'm playing five, eight, five, four, so then I'm going to play five, four again on the B string, and then five, four on the B string, so sorry, that was um, incorrect. So when I come back, I'm going to play five of the B. Now five of the G to four of the B, and then five, four on the B. So slowly. So that is a diminished run. That's technique number 20. Then we've got tremolo picking. So I'm playing there four of the D, six of the G, seven of the G, then five of the D, seven of the G, 
8 of the G. Then technique number 22 is power chord tremolo picking. So that's where you're tremolo picking over more than one string. So we play that through twice. Technique number 23 is trill. So that's just hammering and pulling off fast between two notes. And I'm playing three to two on the bottom string. Two to one on the A string. And then two to one on the bottom string. Okay, so that's technique number 24. Then the final, so I know that's technique number 23. Technique number 24, which is the final technique, is bends. So I'm playing open string, bottom, second fret of the A, open, bottom. Then I'm gonna bend this third fret of the bottom string. And then play the second fret of the bottom string. Then open, down to the um, third fret, and then two, one on the bottom string. And repeat that. And then finish on that open bottom string. So that's 24 techniques from one riff. What I'll do now, I'll play it through slowly so that you can um, watch them all put together. And as I say, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, see you later.